Hello everyone. Now, I hope by now you have listened to our story of the week, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Now, today we are going to create a story map of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And the key words that we will be using to create this story map and retell the story is first, next and then. So what happens at the beginning of the story? Can you turn and tell your adult or a teddy bear what happened once upon a time? Fantastic! Once upon a time, the three bears went for a walk in the forest. So for the first box of my story map, I have drawn baby bear, mummy bear, daddy bear, and three footprints. And I have put a W to label walk. And I have also written walk next to number one. Now, can you turn and tell your grown up or your teddy what happens next 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 goldilocks crept into the cottage now crept means to walk very very quietly so in the next box of my story map i have drawn the cottage and goldilocks inside and I have written the word crept next to number two. And I have also labelled Goldilocks with a G. Can you now tell your grown up or your teddy what happens then? Then. Yes, well done. You are remembering so much of the story. So, then Goldilocks saw some porridge bowls on the table. The first porridge bowl was too hot and the second porridge bowl was too cold. That's why I've drawn a cross next to the first two porridge bowls. But Baby Bear's porridge bowl was just right. So she was very pleased. Now, I have put number three and I have written porridge. I have also labelled the bowl with the initial sound B. Now, Goldilocks, unfortunately, broke Baby Bear's chair. What did she do after this? So you can turn to your grown-up or your teddy and say, after. Yes, Goldilocks fell asleep, but she didn't fall asleep in Daddy Bear's bed because Daddy Bear's bed was too hard. And she didn't fall asleep in Mummy Bear's bed because Mummy Bear's bed was too soft. Baby Bear's bed was just right. So as you can see, I have drawn the three beds and I have drawn Goldilocks asleep in Baby Bear's bed. And I have written number four, asleep. And I've decided to label the pillow in my picture with the initial sound P. What happened next? Turn and tell your grown-up or your teddy. Next. Next, the bears found Goldilocks in Baby Bear's bed. Now, as you can see, for, num- for the fifth box of my story map, I have drawn the bears' faces looking very angry. They were feeling cross. And Baby Bear is very sad. And of course, Goldilocks is shocked. 
She did not expect the bears to come home and find her. So she is feeling very shocked. As you can see, I have drawn her mouth very wide because she has a shocked expression. What did she do then? Turn and tell your grown-up or your teddy. Then? Then Goldilocks ran as fast as she could out of the cottage and into the forest. And the bears never saw her again. Now, as you can see, in the final box of my story map, I have written ran because Goldilocks ran and I have labelled the cottage with a k and I have also labelled the path with a p. Thank you for helping me create my story map of Goldilocks and the three bears. Now you can see it all put together here in six boxes. So, once upon a time, the three bears went for a walk into the forest. Next, Goldilocks crept into their cottage. Then, Goldilocks tried three bowls of porridge and enjoyed baby bears. Next, she fell asleep in baby bear's bed. Then the bears came back. They were angry and sad and Goldilocks was shocked. So then she ran away as fast as she could away from the cottage and the bears never saw her again. Now it is your turn to create your very own story map of Goldilocks and the three bears. So the first thing that you need to do is create six boxes. The second thing that you are going to do is draw a picture for each part of the story, just like I have. And the third thing you are going to do is do some writing. Now some of you may want to just label the picture with initial sounds. For example, in box number one, I wrote a W for walk. Some of you might want to write the word for each part of the story. For example, on the first part, I have just written walk. Or some of you might want to write a sentence for each section of the story and create a written story as well. Now, your story map can help you retell the story after it is finished and even act it out. OK, so good luck and we cannot wait to see photos of all of your story maps. Have fun!